Hey guys, it's Gary Dean down here in Tampa, Florida. Sunny, hot Tampa, Florida. And um, I'm actually uh, working on a couple of vehicles today. I've already got this BMW X5M done, working on that Ferrari 458 Spider. And I, I brought my El Camino today and I was just walking by it, notice, noticing how dirty it was. And every time I see a dirty car, I think, hmm, that car needs to be clean weird huh anyway so i was just thinking about like waterless methods and rinseless methods and traditional methods and i wanted to share my thoughts about waterless car washes now here's the deal the fact of the matter is that the actual solution this happens to be the diluted infinite use detail juice uh per the the label the instructions say two capfuls uh of the concentrate and then you fill up the bottle with water and that's exactly how I have it mixed here um, the fact of the matter is that the product is not going to scratch the paint not at all in fact scratches only happen if you put them there now I'm not a real like freak out over swirl mark kind of guy and i'll shoot another video about that about swirl marks in general I, I don't i don't freak out about them uh I, you know partially because i can fix them but beyond that they're easily fixable it's the deeper scratches that are really of concern so when it comes to waterless washes like i mentioned the product isn't going to scratch the paint so when a product line manufacturer says my product will not scratch the paint and they have some study that proves it you don't need a study to prove that spraying a lubricant on a panel is not going to scratch the paint uh, so that's the bottom line now do i believe in waterless wash i believe that if you need to put a waterless wash situation in motion you're obviously in a, uh, a water conservation area or you are in a position where you don't have water or maybe you're just not familiar with the rinseless situation but i'm not a huge fan of waterless washes i do believe that they they don't add enough lubrication to the surface to really clean well enough in the cracks and crevices and that's really why i don't like them but the other reason would be that they are putting in a lot of unnecessary scratches in the paint or you are doing it when you are applying the towel to the surface and wiping it off no matter how much lubrication you put on the surface of the paint if you're doing a waterless wash you are going to scratch the paint period uh, I don't need a magnifying glass. I don't need a scientist. I don't need a rocket scientist to come over here and tell me that. I know that for a fact. Um, again, not a big deal if you're in an area where you can't use water or if, you know, you don't have it or, you know, it, you'll get a ticket if you use too much water. Uh, waterless is fine. Like, that, that's how you do it. That's the answer. And that's why those products exist. But, you know, bottom line is they work. I mean, that, that is the bottom line. So if I were to take the infinite use detail juice, and you see all that dirt? See all this dirt right here? It's really dirty. So if I were to take the infinite use detail juice and just spray that panel down, lube it, lube it, lube it, lube it, lube it. There are things that you can do to minimize the swirl marks or the scratches or whatever. So fold your towel in fours and that's how you get the most out of your towel you can start from the top and pull where your fingers are or the butt of your hand you're pulling that dirt off then you could start again and move to a different area pull in one direction and do your thing and keep doing that till you're out of edges of the towel uh, or until it's all saturated then you flip it over and start at that area then you could take a separate towel or in this case i'll just flip it over to a clean side and buff off the residue now that's the best way to do a waterless wash and leave as few scratches as possible but the bottom line is waterless washes 
will scratch the paint because you are going to push too hard. You are going to rub that grit across the surface of the paint. There's no encapsulation technology on the planet that's going to prevent, prevent that's going to completely prevent any scratches from occurring with a waterless wash. So the other thing I want to address is that it's not a waterless wash. There's most of the solution is water. In fact, I just mentioned that when I said put two capfuls of the concentrate in the spray bottle and fill it up with water. You're using water. You're, you're just using far less water, which is, you know, the benefit. The biggest benefit to a waterless wash uh, and a rinseless wash is that you're using less water. You're being more eco-friendly. Uh, now, if you don't care about that, that's another situation. Uh, it's important to be eco-friendly. And I found like with the Gary Dean wash method, the, the sequence of events that I put together uh, to make up the Gary Dean wash method in that order is going to give you, in my opinion, the best case scenario for not installing swirl marks. Uh, if you check out my air injection situation, if you want to do waterless washing with air injection, that is the way that you can truly ensure that you are minimizing the amount of swirls you put in the paint because the compressed air at 125 PSI, spraying that solution on and moving that dirt out of the way and unbonding that dirt from the surface so that when you apply your mechanical ability, when you wipe it, it doesn't require that effort to unlodge it or dislodge it from that space uh, and then move it down the paint, creating a scratch. Uh, the, the compressed air is going to move it out of the way and unbond it so that it requires less effort to remove it, thus leaving a shallower or no scratch at all. So uh, check out air injection. I've done videos on that. Uh, but that's the two things I want to let you know. It's not the product that scratches. It is you. Uh, and you can do what you can to minimize the scratches with the waterless wash. But the bottom line is you're going to get some scratches if you're waterless washing your car. Uh, and waterless washing is not truly waterless. There's a ton of water involved, just far less than there is with a rinseless or a traditional wash. If you got any questions, my phone number is 813-846-4406. If there's a video that you'd, you'd like my thoughts on or you want me to shoot and share my thoughts on the subject uh, <clears throat> that you're thinking about, feel free to let me know. Um, you know, send me a uh, text message, 813-846-4406. I appreciate each and every one of you guys that take the time to watch my YouTube videos. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, I got a lot to say. There's so much more to come. Uh, things are going really well. Check out detailjuice.com for my products. Uh, and again, reach out. If you don't ask, you don't know. Have a great day.